Okay, so this second video is on 2D design and it's um, it's focusing what we've started off with last time, which was using a contour tool, the contour bitmap tool, to contour around the bitmap image. Now what we're going to do is move this on one step further and I'm going to talk about once you've got a vector, how we can manipulate the vector and also combine sort of two vector images together. So I've got the image of a, a, a tiger here and quite often as a, a designer you want to sort of use something that's in place and actually kind of combine it with some other things. Okay? Okay, so I might want to combine this with another animal. So I'm going to go onto the internet again, and I found this um, bitmap of a, a unicorn in this case. And what I'm going to try and do is use the head of the unicorn and put it onto the tiger's body. Okay, so I start exactly as I did in the previous video. I'm going to copy the image down here and go into 2D Design. I'm going to paste the image in, go in Control and V or Edit Paste. Now this has come in particularly big, so one of the key things we want to do if we want to manipulate images is actually get them down to the same sort of size. So I'm going to get it from the corner like this and I'm going to grab it. Now what happens sometimes is when you change the size of things from the corner is it can shrink the item and it can make it, uh, you know, go out of proportion okay what we're going to do to stop this is we're going to press the shift key down on the, the keyboard down here now if i hold that down as i'm dragging from the corner of the shape you can see it keeps the same proportions so the width and the height stay um, in proportion to each other now the other issue i've got is obviously my object and my second object my two animals here are not facing the same way so what i'm going to do is just press this button here and what that's going to do is just flip it along the horizontal axis so they're now pointing the same way Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just like I did before is we're going to go to bitmaps up the top. I'm going to set it to a black and white silhouette and get rid of the background. Very much like what we did before. And I'm going to go to bitmaps again and contour the bitmap so I get my line. Again, I've set this to zero so we get a nice tight contour to the outside of the bitmap. Now if I get my selection tool, I can move away the image and delete my bitmap. So now I've got two different creatures if you like. That I want to try and combine together. I've got the head of the unicorn that I'm going to try and combine with the, the body of the tiger. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all, a little bit brutal, but I'm going to draw a line as to where I'm going to chop um, my image apart. Now, you can use this delete. Uh, tool down here okay if we hold down the button and go to the second part of this it deletes up to an intersection which is where two lines lines join unicorn what we got here i'm going to click the button here and it's just going to delete it up to the point there where the neck is and do the same on the other side so i've got a line where i'm intending to cut this now you'd think i could just click the image here and do the same to the bitmap but this is what happens okay oh it's worked in this case but sometimes it will end up deleting the whole object okay so what you want to do to make sure this doesn't happen if the whole object is selected together is to go to edit up the top and choose explode okay we can also press the hotkey control and e okay so i'm going to explode this and click continue and that will then break it down into separate lines so that when i go to delete i'm sure that it will take out just the bits that i've won okay now i'm just taking out those little bits now if you're finding that's happening it's deleting the wrong section a good tip is to use the zoom in tool see more on what i'm doing there so i'm going to delete out those two points where it's cut i'm then going to select using the selection tool the body and then just delete that out using the delete key there so now i've got the head of my unicorn just there now what i'm going to do is to try and match this up to the body of my um, tiger now you can see what's happened here I've chose the outline and as I'm trying to move it it's obviously broken okay what I want to do is group this again so I'm going to select the whole image like this and then right click the image sorry right click click the edit tool and group the image together again I can press the hot key control and G for group there for one now if I try to move this or select it it will now select it as a whole thing so I'm going to zoom in a little bit again and then move the head of my unicorn to a position where it's close to the thing you can see it's getting quickly i'm just going to rotate it so it's pointing in the right sort of direction and i'm also going to hold my shift key and freeform just scale this image again to get it down to the right sort of size i'm doing lots of things at the same time here and trying to manipulate this to the point where i'm happy with the actual shape so i think i'm kind of happy with that shape taking out the bits of the tiger's head along the inside and obviously the bits on the outside of the uh, the unicorn that I don't actually want to keep. So I'm deleting out all of these lines in here, okay? So I'm just using that same tool. So I'm just going to go around the whole head of the unicorn like this. The bits are overlapping. There's bits that I don't want to keep. Details that I don't need. I'm going to delete those out. And now we're getting to the point. 
I'm more or less finished. I'm just going to tidy up a few little bits by zooming in and getting out little bits that I don't actually want. And now if I zoom out choosing the media tool here, I go out and as I can see, I've got my uh, finished shape there. Now I could argue that the head is a little bit on the small side, but you can see this has been a successful sort of crop by the fact that I've joined these two images together and created one single image.